G'day YouTube, 1MJ here, welcome back to my channel. Well, another day in crypto, and it's another kind of sideways day. Uh, as I spoke about in my video yesterday, I do think that we're going to see a bit of sideways action and a bit of depreciation in the crypto market over the next few days, to maybe even the next few weeks to be honest. We'll just have to wait and see. Not a whole lot of news going on in the crypto world e either. Uh, sort of slow day, I guess we could sort of say. But if we have a look at the markets, so market cap, 263 uh, million, still nowhere near that kind of one uh, trillion, or sorry, 263 billion, still nowhere there near that one trillion dollar mark that we were, that we sort of got close to anyway back in the 2017. I think we were around about 890 uh, billion back then so we've got a long way to go but we can have a look at the markets as I said uh, a lot of sort of trading sideways uh, and I do believe the market's going to go down some over the next few days and weeks anyway we can even have a look here great example this is the last seven days for Bitcoin so it'll go up then it would kind of drop off then it'll go up then it kind of drop off now it's gone up a little bit we're trading sideways and I do believe that we're going to go back down a little bit more so we go over to my uh, old trusty chart here that I've had going for a while. Uh, as I said yesterday, this is the average range where Bitcoin has traded uh, for the past sort of three years. And it's in between that $6,100 mark to around about that kind of $8,200 mark. That's been the average price. It's been well above it at times. It's dropped sort of well below it at times. But generally, this is where we've been. And if we go in nice and close to where we currently are at the moment, we're trading in this top kind of uh, trough here. And again, we've got to remember, we've had a massive rise from down here back in uh, the collapse part. So back in March, it really tanked and even uh, wicked outside of the, the bounds of where it's kind of sat. But we had this great rise up and now we're starting to sell off a bit. And that's completely to be expected. That's not unexpected at all. And like I said, I'm really focusing on the 200-day moving average at the moment. This is uh, my main focal point. And I do believe that somewhere over around about sort of here, I guess, is where it's going to meet. So let's say late July. Now, there's no guarantees. Uh, it might meet a little bit earlier, might meet a little bit late after. But I am looking for it to bounce off the 200-day as support. Now, that's no guarantee that it's going to do that. That's just what I'm hoping for. Uh, and if we lose that then I'm really going to be looking to see that Bitcoin doesn't break outside of its average price range, which again is around that $8,100 mark, but also all the way down to the $6,100 mark. But even in saying that, even if it broke out of that, it's this bottom trend line here that I'm really worried about. So at the moment, as long as Bitcoin stays above, let's say sort of $5,000, it's still in an upward trend. Yes, the highs are getting lower, but the lows are getting higher. So it's just that typical wedge action. And as you can see, we move into here. That is that typical wedge action. It's all wedging and it's gonna coil up in here and hopefully break out to the upside and then start to set all new highs. Because it's done this before, this isn't the first time. If we take this market uh, and go back some, we can see that it's done it over here. Even over here, crept up, went down. Then it took a really long time to creep back up. And it went down, took a really long time to creep back up, went down, and then that's when we kind of started that parabolic run. But again, every time it goes up, there's always going to be some kind of correction. So at the moment, I believe that's exactly where we are. We're just in a little bit of a correction. And I'm hoping that we stay in this kind of top trough up here. I'm hoping that we don't break down into this one. But even if we do, again, I don't predict us going below really about 6,100, but that's not to say that we won't. Again, it's done this before, dropped out but then found its way above, broke back in, found its way above, broke down below, and now find its, found its way back above. So my prediction is hopefully the 200-day moving average uh, holds. But if not, then we're going to go have a look at the 200-weekly moving average. On the weekly, things are still looking pretty much the same as the daily, not too different, but you can see that the weekly is a lot lower. And the 200 weekly moving average is actually right down at the bottom of that trend line that I have, the average price. So around the $6,100 mark. So if we lose the uh, 200 day, I'll be looking for the 200 uh, weekly. And then let's look if it really gets a little bit drastic and nasty. I don't think we even have the 200 uh, month moving average on there. So there's no data for that. 
But again, I'd just be looking for it to stay with inside this wedge. I don't think that it's going to go down there. I think we're going to find some support either around that $8,000 mark or somewhere between the eight and the $6,000 mark. And then I think eventually, as again, you can see that we're getting very, very close to this whole wedging thing and we'll break out and then we'll go into our next sort of parabolic run. I just quickly want to go over a story that it's been getting a bit of news. So uh, Wirecard, now they make the cards for crypto.com and things like that. There was a whole thing about them uh, going into uh, redundancy basically or... Uh, bankruptcy, you know, all this talk going on, there's all these things uh, occurring uh, and that crypto.com might have to get new cards and cancel the ones that they have. Uh, but it looks like, uh, as it says here, regulators have allowed Wirecard to resume regular activity. So that's great news for crypto.com. I like crypto.com. I have a couple of their coins uh, and I do plan on staking some well, not yeah, I guess kind of staking some coins with them uh, in the new future. I've been having a look at their platform and I like it. It's not too bad at all. So I thought that was some interesting news because uh, all the news earlier today was basically saying that, you know, they're done and, you know, all this talk about crypto.com having to find a new place to get new cards and things like that. But it sounds like the UK regulars, the regulators have said that Wirecard is good to go. So that's really, really good news. So just a quick video from me today. There wasn't too much going on. And again, I do believe the markets are going to see some more downside, unfortunately. I don't see us having uh, a breakout any time in the near future. But that's not to say that it can't happen. This is crypto. It could do whatever it wants and just do something completely wild and take off tomorrow. But yeah, my gut feeling is that hopefully around that kind of 200 moving day average it's going to find some support and then bounce off that but if not then i guess we're going to the 200 weekly and again that's around that kind of the bottom of that trough that i was talking about well that's it for me today hopefully everyone's having a great day stay safe be kind to one another hopefully you haven't lost too much in the crypto uh, markets today i'm sure there are a couple of gainers in there i'll see you next time